The Mangekyo is one of the most interesting abilities in the Naruto universe, due entirely to the fact that the abilities it grants differ from person to person. When it first appeared in Chapter 142 of the Naruto manga, the Mangekyo Sharingan was shown to be incredibly powerful, capable of leaving Kakashi in critical condition in just a couple of seconds. Next to nothing was explained about the Mangekyo Sharingan for quite a while after its first appearance, save its incredible power and Itachi's inability to use it repeatedly without consequence. As a matter of fact, the actual design of the Mangekyo Sharingan didn't even appear until an entire arc later in Chapter 224, while Sasuke was busy recalling everything that had led up to the massacre of the Uchiha clan. It was later explained in the same series of flashbacks that the Mangekyo can only be awakened by killing one's best friend, though it was later clarified that, as with the base Sharingan, the Mangekyo can be awakened through trauma or stress of any kind. The name of the Mangekyo Sharingan translates to Kaleidoscopic Copy Wheel Eye, likely in reference to its appearance. As opposed to the regular Sharingan, which for the most part still resembles a regular eyeball, a Mangekyo Sharingan tends to merge the iris and pupil into some sort of pinwheel shape. While the iris still remains red and the pupil still remains black, both sort of intertwine, leading the black portion of the eye to form in the shape of a pinwheel. It's a bit difficult to put into words, but I think you'll get what I mean if I just show you some examples. As you can see here, the design of the Mangekyo Sharingan differs from person to person, though they tend to follow the general pinwheel trend that I mentioned earlier. There are a few filler-only designs that look really exotic, leading them to break the whole pinwheel pattern, but they are, well, filler-only, so I won't count them. But anyway, as I mentioned earlier, the difference between various Mangekyo Sharingan is more than just cosmetic. Different Mangekyo possess different abilities as well. While all of these abilities are vision-based, that is to say they are all connected to the user's vision in some way, they still differ quite drastically from one another. In some cases, the abilities of both a person's Mangekyo will be linked with one another, as is the case with characters like Sasuke and Obito, though in other cases, a person will have two completely distinct abilities that have more or less no correlation with one another, as is the case with Itachi. Regardless of what the abilities are, the jutsu granted by the Mangekyo Sharingan tend to be incredibly powerful. Itachi possesses a Matarasu, an inextinguishable black flame ignited at the user's focal point, and Sukuyomi, one of the most powerful genjutsu in the entire series, capable of altering the victim's perception of time and dishing out unreal amounts of pain. Obito possesses Kamui in both eyes, though each eye's ability differs. The left eye allows him to teleport faraway objects into his pocket dimension so long as that object remains within his focal point, and his right eye allows him to teleport his own body or objects within close range into the same pocket dimension. Whether he can phase through matter by teleporting parts of his body into the dimension, or trap people and objects in the dimension and eject them at a later time. There are plenty more examples of super powerful abilities granted by the Mangekyo Sharingan, but I think you get the idea by now. Also, as is the case with the base Sharingan, it is possible for Nan Uchiha to use the Mangekyo Sharingan. Again, Kakashi's done it, but this can only be done by evolving a previously transplanted Sharingan or by transplanting another Mangekyo Sharingan. Both have been done before, as Kakashi evolved a previously transplanted Sharingan into the Mangekyo, and Danzo just transplanted a Sharingan that had already evolved into the Mangekyo Sharingan from Shisui Uchiha. Additionally, as is the case with the base Sharingan, Nan Uchiha will suffer a much higher chakra cost to use the abilities of the Mangekyo Sharingan, though it seems that with training, this cost can be reduced. One ability that is shared across all who possess the Mangekyo Sharingan is the Susano, a giant ethereal samurai thing capable of absolutely devastating enemies. The Susano can only be used once an Uchiha has unlocked the powers of the Mangekyo Sharingan in both of their eyes, but gaining the Susano is well worth the effort. This thing is massive, and once it evolves into its full body form, it is capable of completely devastating most shinobi in the Naruto universe through sheer power alone and with minimal effort. With a half-body Susano, Itachi managed to tank Kirin, a jutsu powerful enough to completely demolish the entire Uchiha hideout. As is the case with the Mangekyo Sharingan itself, the appearance of the Susano differs from person to person in both shape and color. Itachi's is red, Sasuke's is purple, Madara's is blue, Shisui's is green, etc. One side note about the Susano is that it doesn't seem to be necessary for the user's Sharingan to be active when the Susano is used. Itachi used it without even the base Sharingan still active, and Madara used the Susano with both of his eyes missing. As you'd expect, these abilities generally take a lot of chakra to perform, but additionally, repeated use of the Mangekyo's powers will dull the sight and potency of the user's eyes until eventually they go blind and lose their Sharingan entirely. Sasuke, Itachi, and Madara eventually all suffered from this blindness, though Sasuke reached this point much faster due to how frequently he used the Madarasu and Susano together against the Five Kage. Luckily, there is a workaround for this in the form of the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, the absolute pinnacle of the Uchiha's mighty dojutsu. The Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan is what it sounds like, a breed of the Mangekyo that lasts forever. 
Unlike the base Mangekyo Sharingan, repeated use of the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan will not result in blindness, although it still costs Chakra to use the Mangekyo's techniques. Additionally, evolving the Sharingan into the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan seems to increase the finesse and power of the Mangekyo's techniques, the Susano in particular. Before I get into that, let me take a brief moment to explain how the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan is acquired. The process is pretty simple, all you've got to do is swap out your Mangekyo Sharingan with somebody else's. Granted, the exchange needs to be done between two Uchiha with strong blood ties, ideally two siblings, and additionally, progressing the Mangekyo Sharingan into an eternal Mangekyo Sharingan may only be possible if the person receiving the transplant has already blinded themselves. I'm not sure about that, but... That's been the case with both characters who have unlocked Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, so it's possible. Regardless, once the transplant is complete, the person on the receiving end will evolve their eyes into the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan without losing access to any of their previous abilities. Additionally, the designs of the original Mangekyo Sharingan will be merged with that of the eyes that were transplanted, though this does not grant the owner of the Sharingan access to any new abilities. Sasuke didn't gain access to Sukuyomi, and Madara didn't gain access to any of Izuna's techniques whatever those may have been. Also, it's worth noting that the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan is incredibly rare, as Sasuke and Madara are the only two characters seen with the ability, like, ever. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying earlier, having the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan doesn't really grant a person any extra abilities. Instead, it just makes their existing abilities more powerful and takes away their previous restrictions. While Sasuke's Amaterasu didn't seem to get buffed too heavily by the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, the Susano seems to receive quite a boost in strength. Now, granted, Kakashi and Indra have both used the perfect Susano without access to the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, but, well, Indra's a special case since he's the son of the Sage of Six Paths, and Kakashi, well, he got access to his perfect Susano through some really weird spirit transfer process, so I don't know if that counts either. That and in Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Itachi and Shisui have perfect Susano, and they don't have Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, but that's a game, so I don't know if it counts either, but it, okay, regardless of the requirements to do so, evolving the Susano is possible, and I actually think it's something that I should touch on. When first used, the Susano takes a skeletal form, and only parts of its body, namely its ribcage and arms, will appear when called forth. Through continuous use of the Susano, the user can eventually manifest an entire skeletal upper body, which they can further evolve into a humanoid form complete with flesh, clothing, and a unique weapon. In most cases, the final evolution of the Susano that can be reached with the base Mangekyo Sharingan is the armored Susano, which is as it sounds, Susano clad in unique armor that heavily reinforces its defenses. With the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, Madara and Sasuke managed to progress their Susano even further by manifesting a lower body that grants the Susano an incredible boost in mobility. Like, now it can jump around with legs and stuff. It's crazy. It doesn't end there, though, as the final stage of the Susano is the stabilized perfect Susano, or, as the fourth data book calls it, the complete body Susano. The power of the complete body Susano is allegedly comparable to that of the tailed beasts, making it one of the highest level techniques in Naruto. Madara effortlessly shattered mountains with the shockwaves his perfect Susano created, and Sasuke has managed to slash through planetoids with ease. Again, I'm a little unsure how the perfect Susano is acquired, but I think in most cases it is only accessible through the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Could be wrong though. There is a bit more to the Sharingan than all of this, but because of how personalized its abilities tend to be, covering everything would take a really long time, so I think this is where I'm gonna end off. If not for the fact that it could be its own video topic, I would speak about the Rinnegan here, but all I'll say about it here is that the Rinnegan is an evolution of the Sharingan and the most powerful dojutsu in the world of Naruto. If enough of you guys want me to, I'll gladly cover it in a future video, but for now, I'll leave you with this. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Swaikage out.